Hey guys, welcome to another video and as you know today will be my day number 8 on exploring niche and as you see the title today will be in a non many or non very popular house which is uh, Imaginary Outdoors and the fragrance I'm going to talk about a little bit I'm going to throw my toes on it, my first impression, my opinion, personal opinion will be uh, the soft lawn you see there the soft lawn this fragrance was launched in 2012 created as you know the whole line has been created for Josh Meyer and uh, the notes on this one I didn't find like any top middles or um, base notes information but the notes are uh, linden blossom which is lime leaves uh, laurel ivy uh, betty bear Ocmos, and my favorite Tennis ball. <laughs> I've never heard about that tennis ball, but uh, it's included there, so it's a note. <laughs> Sorry if I'm laughing, but it's funny to me, you know, tennis ball. Well, uh, what I got on this one, what I've been smelling the whole day, is a heavy grass hairball type of scent, which is real pleasant because it's, well, the, like the name says, soft lawn. Uh, it gives you that type of feel like you are walking, uh, not in the forest, more like when you go like uh, to a park, a really big park, and you are walking in the on the grass and start sparkling a little bit. That I, I I got that type of feel, that type of sensation uh, on smelling this <coughs> projection on this one. Uh, it's good. Uh, I applied it in, in, in this part of my on my arms and every time I was moving or I was turning around in my work uh, I was just getting the, the, that that smell of the of the I can say uh, it's kind of like sour lime or when you if you if you go to a lemon a lemon lemon tree and you get some leaves from there and you smash them, that soury type of scent that you get out of, the, out of the leaves that's what I've been feeling and it's pleasant because uh, I like how lime smells right but above that one uh, also the herbal giving from uh, the grass notes that I that not the grass notes uh, more of the grass type of scent I, I get out of this so uh, I can say longevity it was great because uh, I've been smelling herbal and soury lemon type of feel uh, for the eight to nine hours and it's still going on uh, I really it really surprised me because uh, I've seen on uh, the website this uh, fragrance goes for eighty five dollars It's under the ranch uh, for uh, normal Nietzsche houses are going uh, I heard uh, about this one uh, this kind of uh, scent this line uh, Sebastian from uh, menlovescolon.com he mentioned it he he doesn't know if it's a uh, niche or indie well uh, like you know uh, I'm pretty new on this so I, I, I didn't even know the difference yet between niche and indie but what I can say this one doesn't have that uh, in the end that smell like uh, you know like the regular colognes when they're gone from your skin they give you that smell like soury or kind of weird smell they don't smell pleasant no more with this you 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 won't feel that type of feel i can smell it and still the herbal is still going on very green and i can say this is a very versatile fragrance because since it's safe and it's not like in your face it has a real nice uh, green type of feel I can say it's very versatile, you can wear it day or night for any occasion. I can see it more from spring and summer during the days. Ages for this one could be 18 and up since it's not expensive and it's real quality fragrance. So, uh, well, but after 8 or 9 hours that I have it in my skin, what I got, uh, like I said, is that... Uh, like hairball type of vibe and a little bit like a rubber, you know, like a like little bit rubbery. But I think it's because of, like I said, my favorite, now the tennis ball, right? Well, uh, I'm going to apply it a little bit here to enjoy the opening again. 
because uh, like I said, it, it reminds me also, you know, I, I just talked about of this one a couple days ago, uh, Bong number 9 Highline. This one is, I don't know if it makes sense, but it's to me a little bit dirtier, like a little bit dark, more than the Highline, uh, because I see Highline more like a kind of grass type. And even though I have grass type on this one, the grass notes is not included. But because of the mix of the lemon and the oak moss and the, uh, the, the berry bear and laurels, the mix of everything, it gives that herbal type of scent a little bit grassy to me, to my nose. And like I said, I'm gonna apply it again a little bit to enjoy the opening. Yeah, in the opening I got a, like a sensation of smelling uh, fresh cucumbers. But it's a uh, soury. The berry bear make it a little bit like a, like a sweetie and sour because in the dry down I get like a type of little bit sweetie scent. I guess it's because of the berry bear. Or well, maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. <laughs> like I said, my nose is not the most spitting nose. I'm learning, right? I'm learning right now. So I'm just giving my opinion what I get on this one today. It's not a... It can be used on a formal occasion or a date. I can see this one more for like going out and enjoy, you know, the environment. Well, if you live in New Manhattan, New York City, I don't think you enjoy that environment a lot. <laughs> but if you live uh, in the country, that's what gets me on. Uh, like that type of feel, you know, like living in the country and walking around on the grass, or smelling all that, that uh, airball type of scent the trees give you when the wind is coming. That's what I get. It's a really nice, pleasant scent. And like I said, it's not expensive for the quality it is. Maybe because it's not like, uh, I haven't seen too many reviews on this one, but uh, I can say, yeah, uh, defini definitely, uh, this house is a must try. Imaginary Outdoors is a must try house because it has quality. Uh, it has, to me, the whole house, well, not the whole house because I haven't smelled the whole house, but what I've smelled so far, it has kind of mystery, you know? I, I, well, I don't know, maybe it doesn't make any sense, but to me, it has that kind of mystery. But like I said guys, well, uh, this is my opinion on the Soft Lawn by Imaginary Outdoors and well, overall it's quality uh, and you will smell green, <laughs> you will smell fine, you will smell uh, nice, soft, yeah, yeah, it has a little bit rubber back to it because of the tennis ball. <laughs> it's still funny to me. You know, I never, I never heard something like that. Well, I, I, now I'm gonna try to look for some uh, other fragrances that they have, uh, maybe baseball notes on them. <laughs> well, uh, this is my today uh, scent. This was my today scent, uh, the Soft Lawn by Jamaican Outdoors. Uh, if you have tried it uh, before, or you know, or you have any other experience on this one, and you agree or disagree with my comments, let me know. I, I, I really appreciate your comments when you let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm right, or I have to think maybe this smells in this way. I just have thrown my thing, uh, and I have just throw my opinion, my personal opinion, what I get from this one today, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it, and like I said. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing this and I really appreciate your turn. I really appreciate your subscribe, your likes, your comments and see you tomorrow guys. Like I always said, keep on smelling good. Check us out tomorrow. <laughs>